good evening friends so today i am going to discuss a very interesting topic so the topic is lambda max so the maximum wavelength of any compound we can calculate by memorizing the woodward fisher rules so the woodward fisher rules if you type in google so easily you can get the values of any structure so today i'm going to discuss about the structure this we have written here so we calculate the lambda max for this structure so first so this is the this is two fused rings are there okay and also this three cs3 groups are there and this double bond two double bonds are there so here how we will proceed to the calculation of lambda max so first we have to keep it in mind so we have to memorize these values of some <laughs> compounds according to woodward fisher rules so first this when the double bond are present in same ring so we call it that homoannular homoannular conjugated diene and also homoannular conjugated diene so this basic value of homoannular conjugated diene is given by 253 millimicron okay so 253 mu mu and also next in the second step we'll see that how many ring residues are there ring residues means this cs3 cs3 and cs3 these two are ring residues ring residues means the alkyl substituent any alkyl substituent which is present on any ring outside it so we call it that ring residues so here how many ring residues are present 1 2 3 so the according to uh, woodward fisher rules we know that the ring residue value is 5 5 mu so here the structure contains three ring residues so we will calculate with 3 with 5 so we get 15 mu next proceeding to the third step so we have one exocyclic double bond exocyclic double bond means so considering we are considering this structure we have seen this structure okay so this structure this is the exocyclic double bond exocyclic means in the outside outside how many double bond are present in a cyclic structure so we have to calculate this if if the double bond are present in here and also here so we will we'll say that there are two exocyclic double bond so here we'll calculate one exocyclic double bond here how many exocyclic double bond are present only one so the exocyclic double bond value is given by woodward fisher rules is 5 mu so calculating this three we get 273 mu so this is the calculated value and also the observed value the theoretical value is 274 mu so these two value are matching so like this we can calculate the lambda max of any compound